Hello, today's devotional can be found in Ephesians chapter 4, verse 14. Carried about with every wind of doctrine. Okay, so here's the thing. There are so many doctrines out there, so many things created by the words of man. So many things created because people don't want to believe in what is obvious. They don't want to believe in the Bible, in the Book of Mormon, in the Gospel of Christ. So they take little facets from the Gospel of Christ or from different beliefs and paste them all together to create their own Gospel. A cafeteria-style Gospel that's convenient for them and what they want to believe at a specific time. And they use this to draw people unto them. Because there is so much confusion in the world right now, as there was so long ago when the church was restored. And those people are taking advantage of people's confusion. They want followers. They want attention. So they create their own gospel and say it's from God. And that God has these completely opposite standards to what he really believes and proclaims to believe. And people are deceived by it. They allow themselves to be deceived by it. They allow themselves to be taken in by it. And they won't listen to anything else. People allow themselves to be carried about with every wind of the doctrine, even if they don't believe in it simply because it's right there. It's easy to understand. They don't have to do any work to access it. But here's the thing, man-made Gospels are temporal. Man-made Gospels will not last with time and trial. Man-made Gospels are easily defeatable because men fight. And when men fight, they end up doing and saying things that might have serious consequences. and. Thus, friendships are torn apart, lives are torn apart, and anything they created is torn apart. So we should not put our trust in a man-made gospel. <clears throat> the gospel of Jesus Christ was created by God and taught by Christ. And it's an eternal gospel. We should invest in that which is eternal. And enjoy that, that which is temporal and good, but not invest everything we have in it. Because it will eventually go away. If we invest ourselves in temporal things, we shall be lost into nothingness, along with the temporal things when it is their time to go. We are eternal beings, but if we invest in temporal things, we are going to lose our eternal nature and end up wasting away with the rest of the man-made things when it is their time to waste away. We are so much better than we believe, so we need to treat ourselves as eternal beings and not be deceived by that which is temporal. We can enjoy it, yes, but let's not put too much stock in it. Because what we invest our time in here is what we will have in the next life, and if we just invest ourselves in temporal things, then we shall have nothing. If we invest ourselves in eternal things here, then we shall have everything there. But it is a choice that we have to make on our own, and Satan quite often seduces us with temporal things so that we don't have time to think of eternal things. Because he himself can never have eternal things except for the misery and woe that he inherited long ago by his choice. We can do better and should do better. And with that said, I love you all so very much. And I say these things humbly in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.